All right, in this Geek Tip video, I'm going to show you how to clean up and reset Mozilla Firefox. Um, this is a new version of a video that we did a few years back. Mozilla has actually made quite a few changes to the user interface for Firefox, so we wanted to uh, re record a new video. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to start looking for places that uh, can be corrupted uh, and uh, compromised so we need to get into the options of Firefox two different ways to do it first one the easiest way is really the three horizontal bars up here and we can go into options but uh, the second way to do it you actually go up here to the top task bar and you right click on it and go to menu bar this actually gives us options here too so let's go ahead we're going to need that uh, menu bar later on in the video so we want to have it up and show show you what's going on here all right so we're going to go through the the panels over here uh, first and foremost uh, basically these are some of the default settings uh, pretty general that's why they call it general um, one thing I want to bring out uh, point out is Downloads. You know, I always uh, change it from the default save files to the, to the local downloads directory. I like to, you know, point my downloads to different folders. You know, if I'm downloading a, a video or something like that, you know, I'll put it over my videos folder and yada yada yada. So, also applications. You want to check, make sure that applications, that files are being opened in the applications you want them to. Say, uh, like PDF files, if you have Adobe Acrobat Reader installed, you know you definitely want to make sure it's it's being used for opening up those that file type. You also want to make sure that you recognize every program or every application that's listed in here. Um, you want to make sure that there's no malicious program that's opening up files. So if you do, you can actually go in here and just click on it and and use Windows default applications or you know you can you can reset them make them any way you want so you're good there uh, you want to make sure that Firefox is automatically installing updates it's highly recommended you know you want to make sure that uh, you get the latest and greatest updates uh, when they come out and uh, you're ready to go rest of these are personal preferences so uh, the default settings are are perfectly fine so let's go to the home button it's another place to look here is in the home page new windows and new tabs section um, what you'll find is a lot of uh, uh, search engines you know bogus search engines will actually try to get them get their their websites loaded up the URLs to their their search pages loaded up here so that way uh, they can you know, monitor and display the the results that they want you to see. You know, so if you find uh, a web site in here that you don't recognize, you know, you can go up here, click on that restore defaults, and it'll go back to the Firefox homepage. So, and down here, you actually can control what is displayed in the Firefox home content. So pretty simple there let's go into search searches you know there's some personal preferences in here uh, like I say you can use the search use the address bar for search and navigation or you can have a separate search bar like I've got up here um, if you want to definitely check your default search engine like I say some uh, malicious add-ins uh, websites will actually try to change themselves as your default okay, they want to be your your default page for search they want you know be able to to uh, uh, deliver results that have been tampered with so it's always best to you know make sure you, you, you check your your listing here of the actual available search engines you can actually change them down here if you see one down here you don't recognize uh, go ahead highlight it, click remove 
you know, you'd be done with it. Um, you also up here if you're using the search box up here you can actually do on the fly changing to of which search engine you're using up here if you actually use that search bar. So uh, let's go into privacy and security. This is probably the most uh, where the majority of your your settings are going to be. So let's go into it and and take a look. Uh, the enhanced tracking protection. You know you want to make sure that uh, you know you're being uh, nobody's tracking you across the internet. Uh, the standard setting is is pretty you know good. Uh, you can go stricter. You can customize it up all you want. You have to remember the the tighter you lock down your browser, the more possibility that a website will not display properly or even display at all. So you gotta you know be careful on uh, what settings you just you know go in here and change. But normally the standard setting is perfectly fine. You want to make sure that. Uh, the only Firefox is set to to block known trackers. You want to make sure that it, it's set to do that. Uh, cookies and site data. You can actually clear the data, manage your your site data. Um, you can do that manually, or you can have Firefox automatically do it when it closes down. I'll show you where that is. That's a little bit further down the page here. Uh, again, personal preference. If you want to have Firefox save your logins and passwords you know, that's your personal preference there if you want to use sync you, know, you definitely want to have your logins and your passwords saved we'll, we'll go over sync a little bit here as soon as we get there uh, forms and autofill pretty much self-explanatory you can you know uh, edit anything that has been saved by Firefox or you can tell it not to at all it's uh, perfectly up to you History. You know, this is where you can actually have Firefox clean out it, clean out its cache, cookies, and other related data when it closes down. Um, go here to Firefox. We'll use custom settings for history, and then you go into the settings, and you can actually select all of these items, and Firefox will clear those out every time it shuts down. I just have the cache cleared out. Uh, you know cookies you can do that if you want I have a separate program that you know scrubs out all my cookies once a day so I just want to make sure the cache is cleared out personally so uh, address bar you know personal preferences again there location uh, permissions um, you know you're setting up permissions for every website in regards to accessing these different um, different items so uh, you know you basically go through and uh, if there's a site you don't want to access your webcam you know go in there tell it to block okay that's all there is to it it's all it's pretty much cut and dry there software data or Firefox data collection you know by default you know you're allowing it to do it you can actually go in here and deselect it it just depends on how you know if, if you want that settings or not that's a personal preference again deceptive content and dangerous software protection under security you want to make sure that all three of these are actually selected you want to make sure that uh, no program can actually um, you know make uh, changes and uh, execute malicious applications at that you know, just just don't want to do that certificates you want to make sure that uh, uh, Firefox checks the certificates and uh, you definitely you know with all the websites now going HTTPS you know you want to make sure you know you get the certificate ch checking there sync sync as I told you before will synchronize logins passwords It'll do your bookmarks, your history, tabs, add-ons, options. It'll synchronize these across all your browsers, your Firefox browsers. So uh, Windows.
Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, wherever you have Firefox installed, you can actually have these all synchronized. I like using this feature um, since I've got multiple devices, multiple Windows systems, uh, an Android smartphone. I like to have all my data synchronized that way. Uh, like here in the office, I can actually be out in the workshop. I can actually, you know, be looking up uh, parts for a client's computer, and I can come back in here to the office and bring up the open tabs I have on that that uh, workshop browser. So it, it, that's just one of them. So it's really nice, is you know, I can bookmark a uh, page and. Uh, here at the office and then when I'm out uh, out on a service call or something like that I can actually bring that uh, that uh, bookmark up in uh, Firefox on my phone so sync uh, yeah, I love using it so that, that works great so alright so let's go back down here let's go into extensions and themes okay now these are, uh, you know, basic customizations for Firefox. Uh, the recommendations here, these are items that, you know, Mozilla says, hey, you know, give these a try. You might like them. Extensions. This is where you want to take a look at. You want to make sure that you recognize every inst ex in extension inside here. If you don't recognize it, then definitely you can slide it off. You know, take that slider, turn it off, or you can actually click the three dots and say remove it. Uh, you can, you know, disable it right off the front and, and see if that, you know, makes a, a difference in how the browse, how Firefox works. If not, you know, if, if you find that you don't need it, absolutely positively don't need it, just remove it because, you know, if you after you remove it and you say oh you know I really wish I hadn't done that you're gonna have to go back and reinstall it but remember you disable it or remove it you're gonna have to reinstall or uh, restart Firefox get those changes going themes uh, you know they're pretty much you know you know standard kind of stuff you know just like uh, Windows or you know, you, you themes you know change color and look or, the way the way it appears so plugins same thing applies here as we're up in extensions if you don't recognize the extension or the plugin go over here tell it never to activate or you can go into manage and you can actually remove it you can turn it on or off you can actually tell it to to remove it you know but definitely between extensions and plugins, you want to make sure you recognize each and every single one of those applications that are there. So, all right. So now we've covered all that. So first thing we want to do right now is if, if after you've gone through and you've cleaned out all the options, you know, you made sure that, uh, the search engines have been reset and your default pages have been reset and you've gotten rid of all the extensions and plugins that you don't recognize and it's still not working good you can actually do a, a, a reset of it you know you can put it back to fact refresh you go in here to help you go into troubleshooting information and you can actually refresh Firefox here. You can try taking it in the safe mode, you can clear the startup cache, but if you want to get Firefox to back to its original default out of the box state, go to refresh Firefox. And it basically it'll go through, it'll reset everything back to its normal state. Uh, it'll save all the previous settings and it'll put them into a folder on your desktop okay as you can see cookies history all that stuff and there's the old Firefox data file there put on your desktop 
that way if you want to you can actually bring any of that stuff back so so we're just gonna say meh we don't need any of those really so we're just boom like that and all right so we're back to the default settings for Firefox in fact uh, new tab has been reset everything is back to Firefox home so but if you still find Firefox is not working properly you can go ahead and uninstall it so you want to go down here Windows 10 you go into settings and then we're going to go into apps and we're going to actually do go down to Mozilla Firefox and we can click uninstall we uninstall it get rid of it um, it may or may not prompt us to restart the computer but if required we definitely would want to restart it anyway so you, you restart it and then there are three places once you get your computer back up and running three places you want to go to clean out any residual files that may be left over okay and it, they're the location of these files and folders are actually in the full blog over on Geeks and Phoenix but I'm gonna give you kind of an idea here real quick of, of what we're going to be looking for so you, you got all these over on the, the full like I say blog over on Geeks and Phoenix so what we're gonna do is bring up the run dialog box okay and as you can see one of the places we're going to go into is going to be into the app data folder which is by default hidden so you, you won't be able to you know browse your computer and go into a local disk user blah blah blah, blah. so we're actually going in there is uh, Firefox folders through you have profiles in roaming Mozilla okay so we'll actually back out we'll go to app data and we'll go into local you're going to actually see we have Mozilla here we have Firefox here and profiles you want to get rid of anything under the Firefox since you've uninstalled it shouldn't be there but just in case get rid of that Firefox folder let's go back out we're going to go into roaming we're going to go into Mozilla Firefox you want to get rid of that folder too once you get rid of that one, then you're going to go over here to the local C drive. You're going to go into program files, and you're going to find Mozilla Firefox. You delete that there, too. Now, that's if you have a 64-bit version of Windows. If you only have a 32-bit version of Windows, it's going to be in program files x86. That's where you'll find that Mozilla Firefox folder. Once you get those three folders completely cleared and uh, deleted then you can go ahead and download and reinstall Microsoft uh, Mozilla Firefox alright for uh, more details in regards to how to reset Firefox go on over to our website uh, the link to the blog is actually on the YouTube page or if you're viewing this on the, the blog itself well hey even better Alright, if you have any questions, just drop us a line. Thanks, have a great day.